section how do you like that right big fan of balenciaga as you know i am a fan of demna and everything that he does demna is god god is demna uh fashion would be boring without demna and his um clone basically on the scene right now right that kind of big boxy um, um central european eastern european look has got the fashion game going nuts and yeah um and in an effort to kind of expound that version and kind of take it mainstream he decided to do this amazing 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 ad campaign for balenciaga where he recruited some real life parisian couples to front this campaign it looks fucking amazing to be fair again balenciaga worn by real people because if you only we only see balenci that's the problem that balenciaga had been in the, in the in the beginning right when everyone was kind of taking the piss out of the fact that he wasn't hiring any you know models that weren't white um and pale and skinny was that that was his crew right again i don't believe it for the most part i think you know there was a bit of you know miscommunication or there was a lack of foresight in that regard because it's an easy win just for a couple people on there that you know from different kind of walks of life and everyone's kind of happy for the most part and the kind of disparaging thing i think for me was that vetemar and balenciaga especially when they first began the first show they had on the runway that everyone kind of was hyped about you know everyone from the scene was there jerry lorenzo kanye don c all these flipping people from you know the hype beast sort of like fashion world were there supporting the brand so it was evident from the beginning that it really resonated with the kind of urban crowd um of course it went fucking kaboom with asians right and chinese people and stuff and koreans loved it all the big korean kind of k-pop guys are wearing it so it just felt as if like the only people wearing your stuff are people that don't look like you right so why not have them in the one way that's that was a weird weird thing but again i do get the idea that he could just be you know you just might not have that many friends that aren't that don't look like him right which is understandable but so far they've tried to really kind of correct their wrongs they've got a couple of muses they use again and again and again um and so far again but there is a real difference in terms of how balenciaga looks on the runway and how it looks in real life right and i think they've kind of noticed that and they're kind of making amends because i do think that balenciaga worn by actual people in real life really makes you appreciate how much of a design shift in culture in the kind of wave frequency going on at the moment that demna has applied to the scene and again i think like head hit like hideous main like rick owens um like is maybe even ralph lauren uh maybe Heide Aikerman uh especially helmet lang these people are only really be appreciated phoebe philo these young people only really be appreciated once they're gone it's sad to say macabre to say but again fashion is so weird like that carl lagerfeld is only getting his flowers now really for the most part there's a lot of people disparaging his name saying that he was old he was tired he was a good champion of chanel and now they're kind of you know celebrating just how much of a just how high of a level he was playing at at the time that carl lagerfeld was around right designing on so many different fronts so many different consist um over across you know such a crazy fucking schedule right everyone loves to pop their calendar like i'd, I'd, I'd hate to see what carl Lopez calendar look like right at the height of his fucking uh d d design prowess um so again basically looks so much better in real life in context but again you know because it's, it's in the moment and it's all trendy now and it's a bit you know it's kind of trendy to say how overpriced the hoodies are and complain about the whatever it is online that people aren't appreciative what it is but when you see it worn in public you're like oh, okay i get what he's done here because those are the same design codes the same kind of design sensibilities the silhouettes themselves the colors the textures whatever it may be have been iterated out throughout the entirety of fashion whether it's skateboarding whether it's streetwear whether it's high street fashion everyone's kind of taking a little bit of what he's doing and apply it to what they're doing um and again this is my only my opinion but balenciaga worn in runway and worn in real life is completely different right so this is, this is the latest collection from 2019 um which again is probably one of my favorite collections i've done again of recent times 109 looks like just absolutely wall-to-wall -wall, um garments upon garments upon garments right i'm gonna get up on the screen for you guys to see um so loads of amazing looks right that you you know you can always always be a fan of but again it's hard to kind of see yourself visually in it because you know all the models look fucking insane they're plucked from you know the depths of instagram and kind of put out on there they look fucking immaculate everyone looks fucking banging so it's hard to kind of see yourself in the clothes but the moment they you know so instance these kind of long trench coats look at but the moment someone in real life wears it you're like ah you immediately know this trench coat it's from balenciaga that long uh check uh hounds two for checkered uh trench coat you know immediately it's from Balenciaga, from the shoulders to the way it sits to the button to the length. It's you know it's undeniable. So they've taken that and applied it to this kind of ad campaign where they recruited some real life Persian couples, um, loads of um, interesting couples, loads of great mixes, um, and just it's an amazing um, again uh, campaign. I think overall, I really highly recommend some of you guys check it out again, especially if you're not especially if you're not a Balenciaga fan. I think stuff like this will really make you appreciate just how an amazing, just how much of an amazing job he has done uh, with his collection so far.
You see so many great pieces. The, the Paris, look, you see little details of how the Paris hoodie sits, the cut on the pants, the way the slippers look, these boots, the bag. Just like, um, like, see, if you pass these couple uh, at like a high street somewhere, right? They're wearing a, an amazing jumper, some nice trousers, right? You'd know immediately they're wearing something really expensive, even though it looks so ordinary. That's the power of Balenciaga. But again, the actual power of it is that people like myself who can't afford everything in the collection can go out and buy things that similarly fit that kind of mold, right? Whether I want to buy a uh, electric blue turtleneck or maybe some trousers that aren't maybe the same color as that lime green pant, but have maybe the same cut. And then I can sit those on top of some Chelsea boots I buy from Dr. Martens, right? There's lots of things that you can do by taking these sort of design codes, more so than you maybe could do from taking inspiration from an actual runway collection, which is kind of hard to kind of, you know, adapt into your day-to-day, -day, I think, wardrobe. Personally, I think for myself, it's hard to kind of see yourself in this sort of clothes. You can see some, I see myself in pieces, but not maybe in outfits, I think, for the most part. It's hard to see yourself in it, right? Um, this model for Blend Jugger, amazing, right? Erwin Werder, this older dude. He looks fucking so cool in Blend Jugger. Um, Such a cool dude. Um, but this kind of, again, ad campaign does a really good job of kind of putting you inside of the clothes. Everything here looks stellar. Look at the shoes. That kind of O neck on the finger looks amazing as well. The bags, the boots, the all over print jacket. Look at the jacket. Look how good that jacket looks. Like, it looks incredible. So amazing. This couple here, oh, amazing. Look at the dress, the boots again. His outfit looks amazing. Just again, really, we can check it out. It's for the full 19 collection. You'll probably be able to see it's all over the high street or, or iterations of it copied by loads of other brands coming up forward or coming up in the next couple of weeks and stuff. So, we can really check it out. Blessed Yaga, full winter, 19 collection, worn strong by this horde of fashion influencers from Paris. <sighs>